Hello everyone, welcome. My name is Alicia Brache here at Cosmic Gateway. This will be the July 2024 energetic update. So um, where, to, where to begin? Um, so sitting down and preparing to present this, I was thinking about the months leading up to where we are now in July. Um, and I think if we go back and cast back into to May, we had such a, an influx of solar energy and there was a lot of new consciousness that was coming in and bombarding the planet. It was a real upswing in frequency and there was a lot of new earth co-creative energies that were really ripe and really vibrant, which is what has sort of landed. And as we move through June, that was a time of... Um, incubation if you will it was like as we our bodies have to process that new light and frequency coming in it's almost like this um uh pause as we kind of come into alignment with what is coming online within us what is um becoming available so what i've been shown is there was a lot of golden frequency that was coming in that kind of activates our own inner new earth template so as we move into this month of july this is really about cultivating the light within it's about working with um our conscious creation of what we know that we're here to bring into the world as we prepare for many shifts and changes that will take place over the global scale over the duration of this year. This is probably going to be one of the most transformative years. And as I sort of scan through um, the next few months, it's, it's going to be um, a game changer. What also was coming in is that for a large majority of people so a, a big portion of the population who perhaps have a sense of, of of some things around ascension or have an inkling have done a little bit of research but not really on their path there is an upsurge or upswing in in those particular in that particular group of people I, I've noticed that throughout my dream space, I have been observing a lot of this, what I was calling like blank slated energy that's coming in, which is kind of breaking them free of um, the density that they've been held in, whether that's relationships, partnerships, things that haven't served them that have kind of um, stalemated or, or had them stuck in um, progressing along their own ascension pathway. So. There's probably, for, for that portion of people, there's probably a lot of disintegration happening, a lot of breakdowns, a lot of things that it's almost like that that part of the their pathway of stalling their ascension or evolutionary pro, um, progress is now casting them forward. So there's probably a lot of shift in identity, like who am I? Why am I here? A lot of soul searching that, that, that is occurring and a lot that has um, almost, I almost want to say like has prevented them from really truly aligning. What keeps coming through to me is it, we're in a numbers game at this point. So the more of those people that can start to step into their alignment, into their frequency is going to help support this uh, shift in evolution as we move through 2024. Um, what else? So also, so going back, I know that from the end of Ma uh, March through to May, I was having um, a lot of what I would call new earth dreams. So I was spending a lot of the nighttime in this very vibrant space. Um, a lot of light, a lot of um, freedom, a lot of expansion, a lot of joyfulness, loving frequency. And then it was almost like this back and forth, back and forth for, for many, many months. And I haven't had a, a stream of New Earth dreams go for that long ever. So that's what um, showing me that we're kind of constructing or working with so during those times, there can be this feeling of uh, temporary separation or disconnect because I do believe that there's a lot that's being constructed within the energetics right now. And so as we moved into this month, it's this um, it's gone from 
you know, being in that space and almost assimilating or bringing back this information, experiences and energy to help bring it into this uh, reality, but through our bodies. So now what we're working with is the template of that. So it's almost like each one of us holds a template and we're now being instructed to work with whatever the um, intuitive guidance is for what we're here to create and what we're here to build. So this month is very much about receptivity, working with creativity and perhaps doing that in a very um, slow, gentle and subtle way. It may not be ready to fully place out there into the world, but now it's really about building the fundamental steps of what it is that is you know in your heart or what your soul has always known that you are here to do, to witness, to experience. And remembering whatever we're creating or cultivating is an energetic extension of us. So that's why that theme, that information is really about cultivating the light within and working with that as that unique uh, guideline, if you will, that, that, that template that we hold within us. So how that can be achieved or how that can be done how however you receive your internal guidance so for, for myself it's through my dreams um but for other people maybe um just intuitive hits along the way like a a um a voice or a narrative or a, a subtle knowing that sort of constantly runs in the back of your mind of you know, do this, do that. Um, and so really trusting and taking those initiative um, step by step, day by day, and, and look at how you can be met in the process of doing that. Um, so as you take incremental steps, looking at the receptivity of what meets you along that pathway and how you can be continually given, um, whether it's resources, um people showing up to help support you, whatever it is that you need. It's like you take that step <laughs> and then, you know, you're met with a, a equal amount of um, support along the way. So in preparation for this video, there was streams of energy that were coming in. Um, one was the energy of abundance I do believe that we are looking at some sort of a mm, financial or global reset, um, looking at stepping out of the old uh, monetary system and into, I don't know exactly what that looks like, but I do feel that that is on the horizon. Just going back and looking at the notes that I had from the end of last year moving into this year I was given a bird's eye view of uh, the, the potential higher timeline of, of what we're merging into and I feel like that comes in around there's some sort of upswing or change that takes place in and around October October keeps clocking as like quite a vibrant month um, and not to take away that there is a lot of um tumultuous changes that are also taking place on a collective level and so that's going back to that narrative of, of working with the light within because as we move through there's a lot of political and economical changes and shifts it's like accessing that new higher version of abundance that comes through unexpected ways the other um so i was guided to to do the artwork based on the energies that I felt that were coming in. So the first one was abundance. The second one was um, like a love frequency or a heart-based opening frequency. So they're the combinations of what we are being asked to create with as that energy at the forefront. And then the third one was the visionary, the seer, the being able to open or expand the vision to what it is that we're moving into to give us the, the guidance, the um the prompts to be able to see that this merging or integration of walking into that higher version of ourselves. There's another theme that has been coming through around um, a, a very vast expansion of consciousness within that, that middle group that I was 
discussing earlier. So that's going to be <laughs> how it's coming through. It's going to be it's going to be an expansion of consciousness beyond what can be perceived in terms of the nature of reality. Um, and for others, it's going to be a, a cognitive dissonance. So it depends on how people want to interpret that. I do feel like we will be witnessing um, and experiencing things perhaps within our own personal lives or within the collective field, or it could be a combination of both that is going to make people question their version of reality intensely. Um, so coming back to that, um, it's a numbers game. Feels like there is this momentum that is building. Um, but I do want to speak to that because as this momentum builds, there is this underlying um, feeling of uh, anxiety or uncertainty. And it feels like there's something that's ready to, to explode, if you will. That feels like a more collective level, but it does impact us, those who are perhaps more sensitive to the energetics. Um, and so going back to that, that what I was speaking to earlier about the energy that came through during May, that energy is looking for a place to ground within us. So there has been a lot of clearing. There's a lot of people that are going through clearing um, from, from the, I would say, from the, the heart down. So moving through, and that could uh, amplify these feelings of uncertainty or anxiousness. Um, Re-evaluating um, identity or de identity of self. It feels very apparent to me that we have stepped away from the previous ascension cycles. I was talking about this um, perhaps a few weeks ago. I feel like we've moved into Ascension 2.0. We're moving into a whole new stream of experiences, energy that is going to propel us very swiftly into this new reality that is uh, upon us. So what a lot of the guidance that has been coming through in, in preparation for that and People are at very, very different stages, um, clearing out and working with the, the lower chakras, the soul plexus sacral and, and the base chakra so that we can ground through our bodies this energy and almost expand this energy template. And the more of us that are doing it, we're co-creating this uh, new earth grids that are um, surrounding and connecting this new earth frequency. Now, I know that a lot of people are struggling right now with this. It, it's a big transition in what we're moving out of. So there's a lot of unraveling of, of old, um, a lot of people are going through what I call a life review, where they're going through deep healing or metamorphosis, where there is uh, change and transformation of disconnecting from the 3D paradigm. And what, it, what that entails also is a, a unplugging of previous timelines, things that we've experienced. So almost like a bit of a, a blank slate of memory wipe. So you may not necessarily be connected to the, that previous version of yourself, um, which means memories, experiences, things like that will be there in, in some shape or form, but it's a conscious connection to be able to access those memories. They're not... Um, they're sort of they're not accessible within the field. So as that unraveling happens, there's a lot of um, deep grief that can be coming up for a lot of people, a lot of sadness, a lot of feeling of disconnect. And while we're moving through that phase, it's important to stay within your own center. And what kept coming through was keep realigning yourself with that new version that's coming online. If you can take the time, you know, throughout your day perhaps a couple of times a day to really sit and tune into that new accessible energy and what it is that you wish to create. What is your creative genius? What is um, what it is that is your gift to bring to the world and start to realign with that as we start to connect with that as the most predominant frequency. 
in terms of global events, I was being shown through my dream space that the most activity on, on the global scale, there's going to be a series of events that start to unravel as we hit September. So September through to November is going to be the highlight parts of this um, of this year in terms of bigger changes happening. And, of course, we've got a lot of, um, <laughs> we've got the elections, we've got all that. So I do feel like there potentially can be, um, how did it come through? One will be a water event. So I don't know if that's uh, excess flooding. I know we've had a lot of that already, but one seems to be a water event or that can be equated to streams of, of frequency of consciousness coming in. One was a sky event and the other was a bigger shift in, in an energetical um, event. So I know that a lot of people have been um, monitoring the skies, noticing a lot of uh, activity that's happening. I know that throughout June I had several experiences of feeling as though I was being taken on craft. And the reason for that or how I was... Um, the information that I was given was that it was adjusting my light body to um, to the shifts and changes or acclimating into this newer frequency. So I know that a lot of people got back to me and said that they were also having that experience that came through on the 6th. Um, and since then there has been this kind of incremental um, disconnect and then feeling into the, it's kind of this in-between phase. That's where I feel a lot of us are at is this in-between, not really in the old cycle, but we're not really fully connected into the new. And so this can be like starting out again. I know that there's this um, rollout of what has been spoken about at uh, Soul Mission 2.0, and I believe that that is what we're really truly here to to. Um, to witness, to be a part of, to create. A lot of us have started or um, worked on parts of our soul mission and what we've um, been doing over many, many years, but this is the next level that's coming on board. So it's doing things from this higher level of consciousness that's coming in. So sometimes there can be a, um, trying to work out how to, bring that into the world but it starts with the energetic first about being able to fully embody that and from there being guided to to take or navigate those steps um i'm just trying to think what else um hmm. in in relation to divine partnership We've started to work with those frequencies of divine union that really um, set off in the 6-6 gateway. And that seems to be like this interweaving or fusion of coming together. So starting, um, there's a lot of shifts and changes that are occurring within the, the sacred union template to bring these powerful souls together. And a lot of that is in this uh, second part of soul mission. A lot of these um, templates of what we're going to be bringing through in the co-creation of the new earth is too much for one person. So there's a lot of attuning that is occurring to help uh, match or be in the um a balanced energy or in you know in a compatible energy to then be able to bring that forward to bring that through but I am witnessing and seeing that there's a lot of shifts and changes many people are experiencing having um, dreams or, or visions or having uh, ex energetic experiences that are taking them into that timeline and then it's trying to work your way backwards if that makes sense so I think that's about all. I will be hosting a 7-7 um, soul journey. So if you would like to join me, which will be on Sunday the 7th of July at 7 p.m. Melbourne, Australian Eastern Standard Time, you can catch that live or on the replay. The details will be in the description box below. If you would like to work with me personally, I am available for sessions. So once again, in, in the description box below. And thirdly, if you would like to have more um, 
guidance, more um, information or insight or practical application tools and techniques to be able to work through a lot of things that I've been talking about. I do have the um, Elevation Training uh, Collection, which is now available, which is combination of three training programs that I've put together over the last um, seven to eight months. There's almost about 30 hours of video content with accompanying um, guided audios and workbooks. So you can access one of them, or if you'd like to access all of them, that is also available too. So let's go into the intuitive insight guidance uh, for July. I have prepared new artwork. So We'll just pick up this one, which is um, this one here, which is A. You can see this combination of gold, blue, and pink frequencies. This was coming through as the, um, the abundance template, which was the first of the series of three that came through. So we'll just tune into that and just feel into what... The first words that are coming through is like open and expand your horizons. There is different ways to access abundance through <laughs> creative gifts, through ways that you potentially haven't uh, had the courage to work with or haven't felt the value of it just yet. This feels like talking about life experiences or a body or knowledge of wisdom that resides within you that the soul wishes to speak through you. This does feel like it's in a form of writing. It's almost like wanting to pour your heart and soul into this body of work, which I feel like perhaps hasn't been the right time up until now. It feels like mm, when I tune into that, it feels like there's this, um, this very um, potent energy that you have access to that you haven't had perhaps the determination, the focus, the, um, the confidence to be able to fully put out into the world because, it, it you know, it feels like it is... Um, almost exposing a part of your, it exposes parts of vulnerability. But it's saying now to work with that, work with that. There's a lot of gifts and a lot of um, a lot of information that people can well, utilise that will help them have the courage to speak their truth, to speak their wisdom. Whatever it is, it feels like it's um, working with yeah, creative writing, automatic writing. It feels like there's a stream of knowledge. This could be writing a book. This could be writing a blog. This could be writing or creating something that is perhaps even unknown to you at this point, but the, the guidance is to be able to tune in and ask what it is. It could be in a form of poetry, but it feels like that energy that you haven't been able to fully access wants to almost birth through you or come through you through the, the, the passageway of the heart. It feels like it's a gift that you can offer that will give comfort to many people going through changes or phases of uh, deep loss or grief or trying to make sense of new realities. This uh, information is precious to you and it, it feels like it is a combination of not only this lifetime but many, many incarnations of your soul's work that is brought together this um, hmm, this knowledge, this wisdom. This could be in accessing new um, ways of working with healing arts or modalities. 
there's like um, tiers or streams of information that just wants to come through in segments. So maybe take the time to be able to put aside throughout your day or week where you can come in and connect in with that, that energy that wishes to be expressed through you. So the first card that's come out is the messenger card. This one talks about your voice being heard, um, about expanding your horizons, potentially your work being heard by many or by the masses. This is um, putting you onto the next level of where your soul wishes you to be positioned throughout this time so that you, your voice, your energy, your frequency can be can be soothing, can be comforting, can be almost like a, uh, a blanket to envelop those that are going through tough or transformational times. The second card that's jumped out is the love, the love card. So this is a deepening of love expression within your own life. This is um, an enhancing of relationship, romantic, or it could be love for yourself, depending on how that translates for you. Um, this talks about um, bringing in higher aspects of love and appreciation for yourself and being able to work with the relationships that you have to enhance your life for the betterment. Um, this feels like it is what was once in your experience of unrequited love or love that didn't quite match or, or meet needs or expectation. This is about stepping into a new level of being able to receive from the inner work that you've done, receive the love that is um, almost preordained or destined for you. This feels like a shift in um, in partnership in terms of there's a lot of changes that your partner or, you know, who it, whoever it is that is the most predominant relationship in your life, they are going through a lot of shifts and changes, which is deepening their sense or appreciation for you. So this is starting in to, to deepen the love that you have for one another and coming into new levels of commitment um, or appreciation or truly seeing each other for who you are. This is taking some of the person, the human experience away, the persona and being able to meet soul to soul and act the, the activations that come through that, that helps expand the two of you into new and exciting ways of reinventing uh, or rekindling the love, the relationship, the connection. The third card that's come through here is the co-creation card. So this talks about being given opportunities or being, yeah, gifted New opportunities coming your way that may feel a little bit out of your reach, whether that be financially or within your expertise. So perhaps being approached to um, be a part of something greater than yourself, um, an idea that maybe feels beyond your reach, but it is asking you to really take, um, take the time to consider your options and know that if it's being presented to you, then it's most likely something for you to start to diligently work to achieve and move into that is going to um, help expand your horizons or your notability within the world. And this feels like it with the, the card of co-creation, this is uh, working with others, being able to co-facilitate perhaps with, you know, a, a workshop, an event, um, some sort of project that is a collaboration beyond two people. It feels like there could be three or more people involved and it's like working with the energy of bringing that together and knowing, uh, uh, beautiful, knowing your worth in that, your value, and really working on if there's any, energies that are preventing you or blocking you from self-worth or truly um, knowing that you have a huge value 
in what it is that you can gift or give into the world. Ooh, okay, so take the time. We've also pulled the card of transformation, which is uh, number 42, which makes six. We are in a six month uh, in numerology, which is very much about the energies of balance, love, harmony, um, bringing in like this beautiful energy of co-creation or collaboration uh, and being able to work in, uh, in balance, in balance with yourself and in balance with others. So the energy of transformation supports our ability to gracefully flow, um, flow through these times of transition, allowing the old, um, allowing the old to make way for the new. So knowing that potentially this is a time that is, uncertain and being asked to really go into that place of surrender and asking for that internal guidance and knowing that the support is there this is really asking you to excel into greater heights being bold being create uh, courageous and really stepping out in in your truth and authenticity to be able to share your message or whatever it is that you have to give or gift to the world We've got 33, which is another six. Reflection. Reflections, I should say. The energy of reflection supports the growth, the insights that we get from our contemplation, contemplations of self and with others. So take the time that you need. You may still be in this internal reflective mode, being able to weave through what has worked in the past, what hasn't worked. And really, I would encourage you to connect to your greatest vision or intention of what, what it is that you wish to experience in this lifetime, whether that be through creative arts, through teaching, through um, business, conscious business. And I, I truly believe that right now with the energies, whatever is going to stand the test of time as we move through these changes and bigger um companies, corporations start to disintegrate because they aren't heart-centered or heart-based. What we need to do now is really to cultivate that energy that we can um, bring forward within ourselves to create this um, new ways of uh, smaller businesses, which is more of a power to the people rather than the bigger corporations. And I do feel like that's the time that we're moving into. And that's why a lot of big people are being asked to really start to make the, the shifts and changes and the movements in in their conscious creations. And maybe it's tapping into the original vision or visions that you gained over the years that you haven't been able to quite uh, ascertain or um, execute into the world. But now it's being asked that this is the time to really start moving on these ideas because I don't believe that the world was necessarily ready or hasn't been fully ready to move into these um, these new earth creations, but now we're certainly in a time where that is needed more so than ever before. All right, let's get a few more cards and see what, what the nine, the bouquet. So happy, harmony, beauty, creativity, a gift, Art, reconcili uh, art, reconciliation, express, uh, expressive, of, uh, expressive of gratitude, appreciation, openness, love and warmth. It really feels like through this month there is this um, really potent loving energy, like almost like a really home body feeling of being quite content in your own little bubble and being able to spend a lot of necessary um, down and alone time that you need to work on your um, your your co-creative um, abilities working with that light from within and bringing that out into the world the next card that we've got is the princess of earth so virgo so which is interesting because I was when I was tuning into these cards, I feel like whatever it is that you're working on, um, 
the, probably the right time to execute or to bring it out into the world would be in and around the September time or Virgo season. So a couple of months away, but really working diligently and putting um, your best foot forward in each and every moment, even on days that you don't feel like it, really checking or tuning in and saying, what is it that I can do today? And whether that's just coming back into alignment or seeking out things that inspire you and really working with that and, and that um, that Virgo energy of being really intense and focused and being able to ground in and through you. So the year, um, uh, so uh, Virgo season really kicks off August 22nd through to equinox of September 21st. So at an at analytical, hardworking, intelligent, reserved, helpful, um, can be nitpicky, but ver being very responsible or um, taking personal responsibility of what it is that you wish to create and bring into the world. Okay. So, oh, interesting. We've got... Hmm. We've got the 1111 card, the twin flame. So we've got the divine partnership or soulmate, the heart, the heart activation. So balancing your energy of um, yin and yang, um, masculine and feminine. So being really conscientious of are you in an overly masculine energy? Are you doing too much? Is it time to step back and be in reciprocal energy and being able to balance the two? So, and then a catalyst for a, a deeper level of awakening moving through this month, whether that be through conscious connection or partnership, um, or whether that just be within your own process. And keep in mind the Elevate 2 training, which the details will be in the description below, is the, um, the guide to be able to work in, in conscious connection or divine soul connection. Um, all the tools and techniques to to navigate through that. So I'll put that in the description box below. Um, winter, waning crescent. So this other energy, uh, sorry, this card that's come through is <laughs> a time of silence, a solitude, contemplation, um, celebration, thinking it over, allowing... Um, disconnect from from past or detachment from past cycles um letting things be and coming or completing or wrapping up so going into what i was talking about in the energetic update there is a lot of closure that's happening or wrapping up out of that cycle and just taking that time often when we're in between cycles there can be a reflective phase of where we're evaluating or going through that review of what worked what didn't work and and bringing forward the elements that, that we master during that time and bringing that forward into the new cycle okay let's get one more card we have, yeah, cool. Number one, or the nine of hearts, the rider, the messenger. So that goes into the, the first card that came through. What message are you asking to bring into the world? The messenger card, so movement, travel, news, visitor, delivery, goals, green light, progress, full speed ahead. So taking that time now to really work on where you're moving towards, what is potentially where do you want to be in six months' time and working steadily on that so that you can start to bring whatever it is, um, projects, writing, <laughs> um, authoring, poetry, bringing that into the world. Okay, so a lot of components there. I hope that that has helped you along the path. Um, personal sessions are available and also the 7-7 seven, seven, um, Soul Journey is also uh, up and available. Details in the description box. All right, so let's close that out and move into the second one. So this one was the energy of unity, union, or love. That template there is <laughs> coming through, that balance 
and bringing through a lot of heart-based frequency on them. So let's see what we've got in store. Mm. Yeah, I feel when I just feel into that energy, it feels like oh, there's a lot of fatigue. Like you've been running a marathon of trying to get to your next destination or where it is that you want to be. And it feels like perhaps in the earlier stages of this month, taking a bit of time out for yourself to rest, relax and rejuvenate, going within and spending time alone to access more deeper um inner guidance and like pulling away from the external the, the noise of the external world and just sort of coming back into yourself for a little bit the first two cards that we've come out that have come out is color and revelation so the color card what where are we there we go the color card talks about looking at the colors in your life and how they can enhance your experience so whether it's bringing more joy into your life and working with that um, yellow or golden energy, whether it's bringing more uh, truth or being able to express yourself and working with more blue frequency, whatever it is that you feel like is a bit stagnant in your life, if it's needing to work with um, creative energy, receptivity energy, partnership energy, working with bringing in more uh, orange energy. So working on what the colours mean or represent to you and if you have a look in Elevate 3, I go through colours in more depth based on the soul uh, expression of our energy imprint. Um, so if you want to access that, that is, uh, will be available in the description box below. Um, so working with this introspective phase um, in your life right now and cultivating more love within your life, working with the enhancement of colours and how you can bring more attributes or elements that you feel that you're lacking in your life bringing that in to you we also have the card of the revelation interesting that one depicts Uluru in the center so coming into deeper um aha moments deeper insights exploring um the depth of your own inner world and consciousness to come into Perhaps conclusions, it feels like when I feel into that card, it feels like there's been a lot of uh, perhaps confusion or unanswered questions of things that perhaps you've gone through and you don't have a personal resolution to it or it may involve um, situations with others and not being able to fully understand or have the conclusive um, understanding of, of what, what it is that was your lessons or your learning or takeaway from particular experiences over the past few years. I almost feel like there's a, a three to four year cycle there and it's like still searching or seeking answers. And this is really inviting you to go within and sit in contemplation, meditation, specifically on those unanswered questions to get greater um, revelation or insight. And I feel like that that clarity will come through um, throughout the month of July. It feels like there's highlighting points within your consciousness to open and expand to see things from a higher vantage point, a different perspective, and see that there is this kind of divine tapestry of things ultimately playing out exactly as they have needed to. Oh, the wrong cards around. Give me a second. I have got a couple there. Um, this, yeah, this feels like un, 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 unanswered questions. Not really, um, yeah. It feels like there's three or four circumstances that you've moved through over the past few years that haven't been reconciled within your mind, but I can see the light bulbs going off. And the more you bring your focus and awareness to seeking not being in the energy of confusion or replaying those events, but asking to be 
shown the higher purpose or meaning is going to allow you to to let the, those things go to be able to um clear up some mental space and to give you clarity and perspective of how you can take those lessons moving forward. So we have the acceptance card. So this, you can see the star, which is depicted on her forehead. So allowing to let go with ease and grace and be able to come into a deeper level of acceptance of the way that things are and know that you can start to make and implement changes um, from those experiences so that you're not in those repetitive patterns making peace for um, making peace of where you are and how you can start to exit or lead out of circumstances that don't serve you anymore and then the, the third and final card that has uh, sorry the fourth card that has popped out is the Sophia card so this is a card of forgiveness, making peace with yourself, making peace with a loved one or others. Perhaps there's been disagreements or um, things that have been left unsaid. One thing that comes through as I tune into that is perhaps you're no longer in communication or perhaps there's no way whether that person is perhaps crossed, that person has um, stepped out of your life and you're still trying to seek or, or make sense or understand if it's not possible for you to open dialogue you can have that internal dialogue by bringing in or connecting their bringing in or inviting their higher self to speak with you through conscious meditation um, and you can if if you need to you can you know write a letter from your vantage point and then also do the reverse of connecting with their higher self and asking their higher self to give you information that's going to help you heal um, and come into that greater level of acceptance. All right. So let's see what other cards. This is the Sacred Geometry of Relationship Oracle. Feels like a lot of um, clearing out of the heart space, this particular energy. Mm. Oh, interesting. Okay. As I've said that, we've got uh, 16 and 17, so the divine masculine, the divine feminine. Um, both of them have popped out. So it feels like reconciling in past relationships, relationships that haven't sort of come into fruition or um all old phases potentially of relationships that have had to kind of um be dismantled or um, disintegrated so that you can step into a new level of your own inner um masculine and feminine to be able to whether it's to meet or come into a new partnership new relationship or a new growth expansion of an existing relationship so really working with the, the balancing or combining of the masculine and feminine energies. The, the feminine energy is the, the energy, the etheric, the one that is in tune with the cosmos, the connection, the higher guidance, being able to bring the energetic into the physical matter and so when we are balanced and aligned within our masculine and feminine energies, we have that um, beautiful combination of energy that allows us to step forward, to move forward using the intuitive guidance and then taking the action steps. If it, um, when I feel into that, it feels as though There's a lot of um, cultivating new levels of peace and tranquility into your life, or that's a desire that you have. It feels like there has been a lot of um, stagnation, a lot of conflict, a lot of arguments or a lot of disharmony with, even within you, which is provoking wanting to have a new or a different experience. What else have we got? Pick 
love. This is very heart healing. <laughs> the frequency of romantic support, uh, romantic love supports our expression to know ourselves through the reflection of conscious lover. So this could be a reading for yourself. This could be someone that you're in uh, partnership with or in some sort of a connection with. So keep in mind if this doesn't necessarily resonate for you, this could be for another. Um, but there's certainly changes on that heart level, change of heart or deepening into um deeper levels of accessing love within yourself, which can be a, a complete game changer in changing the nature of your, your relationships or connections. It could be putting past relationship cycles to rest so that you can start afresh and start a new in this new. Um, but it feels like, yeah, there's a lot of love, reconciliation. Hmm. But ultimately clearing out is, yeah, a lot of clearing out in the heart space. One technique that I can offer or provide is when we're going through a clearing of the heart, it, it means that we're preparing for a new upswing in our own evolutionary journey. The heart is where we access newer frequencies. So if the heart is blocked, we aren't fully accessing our full potential or our soul connection to come into alignment within our body. And so being able to take time and dedicate to that healing and clearing can really be um, the most important thing that we can do. And, of course, as we're going through that, we can connect with deeper aspects of love within ourselves that can deepen or create space for partnership and relationship. One more connection and attraction. Okay, so perhaps for some of you, this is attracting or attuning into partnership or relationship. Work with the energy is what's coming through. If you're not uh, currently in conscious uh, relationship or within right relationship, work with the energy or the template that is your divine union template. As you connect more consciously with that and the energy that it promotes within you, the inspiration, the activation, you can start to connect or attune into that. Uh, I feel like October is going to be a big um, conscious connection of many couples coming together in, in new ways and new levels of love. Um, so it may be now to start to work within your own energetic field to support that coming into manifestation or fruition. And through working with that energy, obviously, we start to magnetize and attract um, whatever qualities or whatever it is that we need so as we go through that, we may be stripping through levels or layers of unconsciousness or things that don't support us, old patterns, um, outdated belief systems, and allowing yourself to really truly prepare to be the best version of yourself. So when that shows up, things can work in cohesive manner. Oh, okay. Very different to the first reading. But the three or the ten of clubs, which is ship, going places, vehicle, vacation, trip, enterprise, movement, move with the wind, swift travels, traveling overseas. So this may be prompting you to maybe step out of your um, usual environment, whether that's taking a, a trip away, whether that's going on a holiday, or whether that is um, just taking a temporary, you know, time out from your usual routine. And this can help give perspective, um, deeper insight in working with what it is that you want to create or how that relationship moving forward will ultimately support you and your future endeavours. And there's something great about, you know, going on a trip or a vacation 
can really re-inspark or reinvigorate inspirational ideas and give us a different vantage point and perspective. Okay. Oh, cool. So we have the dolphins, 12A and 13A. We've got elephants, so peace, harmony, helpful, effective communication, playful, humour, fun, tune in with others, collaboration and joy. So that may be something that you're working with in your own manifestation and contemplation, working with the Syrian frequency whales and dolphins can give such a rejuvenation of energy and support so whether it's listening to sounds or frequencies from the ocean or going to the ocean itself can be really helpful in uplifting you know energy and uh, inspiration lifting your spirits and then we have 13a so elephant um, gentle lucid dreams keep your wits about you powerful wise trust remove the obstacles um tele uh, telepathy and support when i look at that card i also think of ganesh and the um the remover of obstacles one that brings in prosperity and abundance i know that over the last few years i've had a lot of visitations from ganesh and i do feel like that's an energy that is an archetype energy that is really helping support many of us move into more stable and more abundant um, lifestyles. Mm, okay, let's just get one more book. Hidden things, mystery, philosophy, intellectual knowledge, education secrets, unknown manuscripts, and author. Well, I guess with that card, I ask you, is there a book within you? Is there some form of writing that can help be your own guideline, um, guiding force to help to bring forward new insights or inspiration? Or perhaps going through this reevaluation of relationships, maybe it's going through, you know, writing down what hasn't worked. And that can be a really powerful tool in clearing and healing is being able to consciously bring forward, you know, patterns or things that aren't helpful, that haven't been conducive to your most optimum relationship experience. And then, you know, going through a process of being able to um, burn or, or transmute that and then working on what it is that you're bringing in, what it is that you would like to cultivate within your life that's going to be supportive to you in this heart expansion expression and and co-creation in partnership so i hope that that supports you in some way know that i am open to doing individual sessions seven seven uh soul journey is also available and the um elevation uh training collection is also available which will all be in the description box below so look forward to connecting with you in some capacity and if this is where our journey ends. I look forward to connecting with you next month. So let's just close down that. Uh, and into the final lucky last. Mm. With this one here, see, and bring that into. That one there was about bringing in the visionary the clear, um, clear vision and being able to envision or work with future visions to manifest or work with stepping into that space as we move through these coming few months. Feels like there's a lot of purification that's moving through this month to to clear or cleanse out um, third eye or lower or limited ways of being able to see into your future. We have the internal embrace card. Oh. 
on there. So the internal embrace card is really evaluating or looking at the dualistic nature of our own um, identity, if you will, looking at our positive so so-called or perceived positive or negative attributes and, and realizing that we have all of that within us and being able to kind of bridge duality into unity and bringing more unity within ourselves and really to cultivate daily practices that support coming into balance and being able to purify or burn away the old which doesn't necessarily serve us any longer as we move out of this outdated versions of ourselves yeah okay so we've got the divine order card well, the divine order card speaks about inadvertently sinking into yeah um into a lower state of consciousness or um feeling depressed lacking uh inspiration or clarity and feeling quite bogged down or overwhelmed with the woes of the world with this I feel like there's probably a deeper level of introspection that's happening and it's like more of your energy is dispersed placed outward of of what's going on and maybe consuming too much information that's perhaps distorting your own inner clarity or inner uh, knowing and working with um pulling your energy back and less less time of consumption of perhaps media or social media and coming back to working with trusting or listening to your own inner voice because I feel like there's something that's uniquely or creatively your own knowing or path or envision for what it is that you wish to create or experience moving forward that doesn't necessarily match what is out there. So working more with your own internal knowing rather than um, the voice or many voices of others because it feels like there's a lot of static within your field and it just feels like I want to pull back and bring back into myself so that I can work with what I know to be true and, and less trying to seek or find validation out there because I don't think you're going to necessarily find it <laughs> but expanding or working on that um that which you know to be your own truth and perhaps there is this new understanding that is coming through you that is not yet available to be fully seen in the world but it is something that is coming through that you can help people understand or to um, come into awareness of that is on the horizon. Hmm. This could be something that goes out of the, the, um, the status quo, the norms or of what perhaps people talk about, but this could be your own personal experience, your own insights. And it's, it's almost like, it's almost like, do I dare even put it out there because it's so radically controversial to, to what it is that, that, that you know, the, the vast majority of people uh, are speaking to. I almost feel like this is the beginning or a, a time where you can start to present or work with putting out some of this material to be able to um, help people expand into that awareness because it's like people don't necessarily can't perceive something until they've had time to consume or work with someone else who is, is um, speaking on that topic. It's almost like you're on this precipice of new information, new intel, that doesn't maybe doesn't even fully make sense to you. So you're spending time in contemplation of do I put it out there? Do I speak about this? Do I, um, or you know, do I just keep it to myself? And the guidance that's coming through is follow your own heart, trust what it is that um, is coming through. And even though it may go against what um, you know the vast majority might say, it is going to be helpful because you might be surprised how many people are also tapping into this as well. So it's like as you kind of open the floodgates and kind of speak this truth or this inner knowing that you know is coming or an experience that you might have had, this is going to help 
other people go, yeah. Uh, and so like the validation may not be coming through what is already out there, but how you can convey in your own way that's going to support others that might might also be going through or having similar experiences. There is an illumination that's coming through. So there's a lot more clarity and insight to to be gained or to be worked with. It feels like there's a lot of um, non-physical beings that want to work with you or have been working with you to give you this new um, new perspectives, new insights, and this in, whatever this information is. This is something that's beyond the horizon that's not yet available. It could be working with creating new innovative technologies or it could be um, something that you foresee. It could be something that you prophesize or seen within your dream space or in a vision. And it's, it's a resonance that you know to be true to your heart. So just you know, work with your own internal guidance of, of, of um, how to, to, it almost feels like setting up something or constructing something new to, to put this out there. So I'm not sure what that is, whether it's building a new website or building a new platform, but it's building something that's out of the considered norm and, and building upon that liberation card liberation card is allowing yourself to be that expansive version to be able to work the miracles bring that energy in because it feels like it's highly miraculous or it feels like it's something that's beyond most people's comprehension at this point so it's like as you can put out that information or spread it out in in however that applies to you it's going to cast upon people connecting with that that air of magic um, and as you speak about that, it allows people to connect in with that. And then, then it comes into the nature of reality, if you will. Mm. It could be about uh, experiences, your own inner personal transformation and what that has brought, the insights. Keep cultivating and working with that because I feel like you haven't all necessarily received all the pieces of the puzzle. There's still more information to come through, but I feel like as you start to implement ways of sharing this knowledge, um, the more pieces are going to come, especially over this month. Let's see what other cards are going to come out from the relationship oracle. I just keep getting that there's a new um, energy or consciousness or beings that are working with you, relaying this um, information. Could be, I would say, more than likely, just a a new version or connection to a higher aspect of yourself. Hmm. I've got the card thirty six sensuality. A frequency of sensuality reminds us that as spirits in the human body, we are sensual beings experiencing joy and pleasure from physical form. Sure how that one fits but perhaps maybe making it a joy uh, a joyful or pleasurable experience in work that you're coming through it feels like there may be a bit of trepidation or a bit of um uncertainty but see it as a joyful um creative or co-creative process and move through those those barriers of uncertainty and to be able to know that it brings a sense of freedom and liberation to you as you speak your truth or share this. And not only does it um, do that, it, it kind of perpetuates this casting net of energy that creates a sense of liberation from those who receive it to give them a sense of uh, infinite possibilities. 
uh, open up their potentiality and give them a lot of peace and, and, and uh, solstice that, there we go, we've got the freedom card, and that perhaps they're not, you know, crazy too or that whatever you're intuitively bringing through is, is a match to what they may have been uh, accessing as well. So it feels like as you put it out, more of the pieces of the puzzle come back to you via other intel or, or people. Is okay, yeah. So following the, the guidance and the intuition as as part of your calling. Um, we have the intuition card there. Be be bold in this, and take the necessary courageous steps to to move through, um, and expand beyond the the construct of the third dimensional reality and and go beyond that and bring that energy that higher dimensional energy bringing it through this uh, whatever it is this sharing this information this work um because the more that you're intuitively led through this the more expansion or um hmm. Yeah, it's an energy of expansion or liberation within yourself that allows you to be able to feel um, free-flowing, to, to feel more authentically yourself in the world rather than perhaps the, the mask or the, the, the um, yeah, the mask that we wear that, that is not the true version of self. It feels like a real stepping out. This, and then we've got the abundance card. So it, this may start to activate bringing in new streams of abundance by being bold and courageous and being able to step out on the limb and being a bit unique and different or eccentric. Um, and it's like being able to reap the rewards of being able to take those steps that is liberating ultimately yourself, but it is supporting others to, to do the same. All right, so let's get some final cards from the Intuit Oracle. And just know I am available for personal sessions. The 7-7 seven, seven, um, Soul Journey will be uh, coming up. The details will be in the description box below. And also the um, Elevation Training Collection is also now available. Is about 30 hours of content. So you're guided to access that as a support as we move through these times right now. Okay. Sun, bringer of life, deepening a sense of uh, purposefulness, passion. Okay. Um, Success, new sense of uh, vitality, creativity, identity, uh, real rejuvenation. I feel like whatever it is that you're toying with in kind of delivering or bringing forth is not only an expans expansion of your own consciousness, but it, it brings um, A, a lot of a light and energy and vitality into the planet by you doing that um, very sacred, important work. And it could be working with what I was talking about in the energetic update, these new golden codes that are coming through as this solar activity continues to, to expand and work with the sun energy. That feels like very... Um, instrumental in the inspiration and the downloads that are coming through so you might may find that there's an upswing in um ideas and this kind of concepts or i yeah this out of the box thinking that is coming through may heighten with solar activity Mm. new beginnings 
spring. Time to set goals, intentions, things coming alive, growth, support, increased excitement, rejuvenation, stepping into a new cycle of action. So there. So I know that for people in the southern hemisphere, we've still got a few a few months to go before stepping into spring. So it may be time of cultivating in preparation for springtime. We have the snake card. The Queen of Clubs, so deception, jealousy, betrayal, backstab, toxic, silent treatment. So just maybe just be mindful of as you're starting to venture out on this new, perhaps to um, be mindful. I feel like it's more of an energetic thing, so be mindful of your own energy, keeping your energy clean, making sure that as you put this work and information out, it still holds a le level of integrity. Um, and don't give way to um, nefarious energies that may be kind of forcing you to prevent you from putting it out. So be mindful of sometimes when we are called to bring something new and expansive in, we can get bombarded with a lot of interference that comes through that tries to prevent us. So maybe just be uh, conscious of that, that that energy doesn't impact you and you still stay strong and integral to yourself to be able to keep moving forward. Okay. We've got the geese on a quest, migration, relocation, uh, dependable, knowing where you're going, leave, leaves no one behind, sick and faithful. This feels like a movement of progress. And this also talks to me about having, you have the higher vantage point. You have that bird's eye view. It's a very unique vantage point that potentially no one in your life shares that sentiment with, but there are other people out there. So whatever it is that you're trying to bring through, just know that you're not the only one. There are other people around that have the different pieces of the puzzle. They may not be the, the people that are um, directly in your life, but they are out there. So as that, whatever this this new consciousness is, this idea, this, um, I'm not sure exactly what it is, a way of being, a state of enlightenment, um, prophetic insights of what's to come. It feels like there are new waves of this moving through and people are, uh, accessing it and that's going to be kind of the veil is going to be released to the the greater collective as we move into later parts of the year but it's like you starting that movement is starting to put put that out in your own unique way and as you do that this collection of the other people that hold those pieces coming together and then we have the ace uh 1a rabbits new beginnings desire sudden increase in sudden increase in or sudden increases, sorry, clever, resourcefulness, fertility. So, yeah, a lot of right fertility energy in this creation that's going to bring, yeah, a lot of creativity, a lot of abundance, and to work with it because it, it is out of the conventional norm. But know that that's okay and that's exactly what the world needs um, at this point in time. So I hope that that has helped. I hope that that has resonated. Feel free to connect with me if you wish um, individually or through some of the training or the soul journey. If not, if this is where we um, we leave at this point, I wish you a wonderful July and I look forward to connecting with you next month. Thank you. Bye-bye.